Hi, my name is Mike Shaddy, and I had a spinal stroke, which is why I'm here at Gaylord. Uh, October 23rd was the actual date. It was just like any other day, folding, putting away laundry. Um, and then I was, I, I picked up the dryer sheets and threw them away in the little trash can underneath the sink. Um, and then when I stood up, it was all of a sudden, I just got super dizzy. I felt like a tingling sensation kind of go throughout the back of my legs and my spine, which I didn't really think anything of at the time. Um, just from, I've had previous back issues before, just kind of thought it was something related to that. But then I just noticed after that, that something didn't feel right. It was just, there was something different. I went and walked out of the bathroom and then my, my knees and my legs just started to get really weak and shaky. Next thing I knew, I was just slowly losing function. And then over the course of like the next minute, I basically lost the function of walking and putting any pressure through my legs. I was alone at the time. My, my girlfriend was at work and I had my phone nearby. I shot her a couple text messages basically saying, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I know something's not right. She was able to rush home. We called 911 and then got an ambulance. I was at Hartford Hospital for eight days. So it was eight days of basically just laying in a hospital bed without being able to move or do anything, which was which was definitely tough. It was nice when I finally got out and got transported. And when I got here, I got to start moving, which was really nice. Well, at its worst, like right when it happened, I could basically move like from the belly button down, I could move my left toes and my left ankle. Um, I didn't really have any muscle control or function over anything else. The right leg was, like I could feel that it was there. I could feel to the touch, like I could feel when the doctors were doing all the tests touching, but I couldn't feel the difference between hot and cold or sharp and dull. But we had just basically done our own research between me, my girlfriend, who is an occupational therapist who has a lot of experience. And we had just heard a lot of good things about Gaylord. Basically told my care manager, that's, our, that's my first choice. That's where I wanna go. If I have to go anywhere else, then okay. There wasn't a bed available at the time. And then the day before we were getting ready to go, we found out that Gaylord had a bed. And so since I've been at Gaylord, I've gotten a lot stronger in the left. So I've gotten basically all the muscles in the left to come back. And then I've got some function in the right too. The pool definitely helped spark that. And then in addition to a piece of equipment that Gaylord has called the Zero G was something that really helped me progress as far as um, being able to put weight through my legs, use a walker. Um, the Zero G is essentially a harness that I strap into that has the ability to move with me on a track on the ceiling and then basically take some of my weight off so it's a little bit easier for me. I'm not bearing as much weight when I walk. And then over about the course of three weeks, we progressed it down to walking without using the Zero G at all. For the, the aquatic therapy, it was uh, it started out as just physical therapy. And then as both of my main therapists got used to me in the water and doing a couple coach reads, now it's um, where I get two to four sessions between occupational and physical therapy every single week. We just started on stairs this week and those are proving to be a little bit challenging, but then again, so was walking at the very beginning. So we're making little bits of progress every single day and it, it gets a little easier every day, which is nice. I'd recommend Gaylord to anybody specifically for not only the level of care that you're given, but the quality of it too. When I am in therapy, it's not just like going through the motions, it's attention to detail and it's making sure that there is a plan in place to make progress and, and do different things to, to get me stronger. It's far exceeded my expectations. Therapists, a lot of nurses that I've gotten close with who you can just tell that they, they really do care and they've they just want the best out of everyone that they come in contact with, whether it's their patient, whether it's just somebody that they see working hard. In my 9 a.m. walking session with my physical therapist, it's like, it's nice because people will be like, hey, you're doing great, or keep up the good work as they've seen me progress throughout the time that I've been here. So definitely create that kind of bond and that special connection with the people that are essentially working miracles because like, I didn't know that I was going to be able to walk again going through this and I keep my positivity up. They help with that and sure enough, I'm walking again. I've had a really strong support system through all of it. Um, I've got a really tight knit family. My girlfriend has been amazing as uh, she's been here every single day. So there's a, a lot of good positivity around me. I am scheduled to go home on January 4th as of now. I'm getting fitted for a custom wheelchair, which is going to be um, It'll be good for me to have, especially doing long distances, but I'll be ambulatory 
restricted to the household, I think. Um, and then independent on stairs is the other thing that my, uh, my team is kind of centered around as far as how they want me to leave. So they don't want me to need any help going up and down stairs or walking short distances. Very excited to be back in a, a normal routine and I'm looking for a new house now, which is exciting. So I mean, I'm walking proof that you can accomplish a lot of great things by being at Gaylord.